in a situation where I was jumped, there was three guys jumped me, um, gang members. It's a uh, retribution. They were paying me back um, for whatever. Uh, and uh, I think what helped me survive in that was a couple things. One, um, awareness, like we've talked about, being able to see someone moving. Um, in hindsight, looking back on it, I, I saw one of the main antagonists, I saw him moving down what was a, a fence line. So there's a, if you can kind of bear with me for a second, there was a fence, my driveway, uh, and my car was parked next to the fence, and then my family car was parked here, and then my home is right here. So, you know, it's kind of a channelized area. I was on this side between the house and the van, you know, trying to get my daughter out of the car. I look up and I see a gang member known to me going along that fence line on the other side, and it just struck me as odd, like, what's he doing there? And as we often do, I overrode my instinct and just went back to what I was doing. As I'm getting my daughter out, I look up and now I see another gang member at, my, at the back side of my car that's parked, you know, on the other side of my personal car, my squad car, I see a gang member standing there with pit bulls. And I remember thinking, that's weird. And at about that time is when the fight was on. And so when I look back on it, I made mistakes that hopefully you guys will learn from, which is never override your gut. Your initial feelings are correct. You can always later, at a later time, say, oh man, maybe I was a little rude or maybe I jumped the gun on that. But I would rather do that from a position where I'm alive and not hurt and not injured than to be sitting in the hospital, in a hospital bed somewhere going, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. Um, and I think what helped me survive in that was this kind of training every day, day in and day out. At that time, I was competing a lot. Uh, and so I had like this well of toughness. I had this reserve of toughness that I had built in. Um, actually, at the time that I was attacked, I was inside the house on the treadmill running, getting my miles in for the day because it was winter time and I couldn't run outside. So I was getting my miles in and I had gone outside to help my uh, wife at the time and get my daughter in the house. And so I was wearing like shorts and a sweatshirt, you know, and running shoes. I wasn't dressed for January in Illinois. Um, but when I look back on it, you know, that played a big role in my survivability it was just that mental and physical toughness that I built. Also my ability to, to land hard, effective hits and just get it on. Like I essentially did a boxing blast on the first guy. I just started plowing that guy. And then that's when I got hit from behind by the guy that was coming up that I had watched walk around the fence. He hit me from behind. We went down kind of in a pile. We're getting it on and I had way more skill in groundwork than they did. And that went in my favor. So, you know, Murphy, you know, Murphy's Law, Murphy was there. It was slippery, you know, it was a mess. And, uh, but I was able to prevail uh, essentially, I believe because of this training and what was at stake. My daughter was in the car. There's no way I was gonna let them get to her.